Hi, right, welcome back to part two today of Smithy's over 100 golf courses in a year. It's still Wednesday the 22nd of September. We're now at course number 157 and it's Donald Park Golf Club. I was here about a week and a half ago playing the Lakes course, which is uh, excellent. So we've come back to play the original course, which used to be known as Gainsborough Golf Club. It's just called Donald Park now. Uh, looking forward to this. Let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 157. It's Donut Park Golf Club on the tee, playing the sister course of the Lakes course here, which was the scene of a massacre of all the stunt golf balls at the Lakes course a few weeks ago. So he's here in memoriam, paying his respects from Kirkintilloch in Scotland, Smithy. The third at Donut Park, it's uh, 153 yards par three. Uh, right down the hill, type we like, none of these uphill nonsense. Uh, nice backdrop. Road shot to the green at the 4th at Donut Park, 333 yards, you play uphill to start off with. A sloping fairway and then get up to a raised green at the end. Uh, this is the 5th at Donut Park, uh, second par 3, it's 192 yards, long way. There's a wee valley in the middle to go across and then uh, straight down, guarded by the bunkers. It's a shot down the 12th at Thornock Park, it's a par 5 and it's going to dog leg to the right, 477 yards. Uh, this is the 13th at Thornock Park, it's a 348 yards, par 4 going down the way. Uh, looks like a few bunkers in the way there. Uh, I'll just a really nice 3 ball, let me play through them. And uh, But this 4 ball, playing off the whites, uh, no, they don't even acknowledge that I'm, I'm there. So. Uh, Ah, maybe be cheeky and play out the back of them, I think. Alright, I've been waiting on this one. This is the 14th, uh, par 3 at Thurnock Park. Looks like a signature hole. Uh, nice lake in front of it. Extends for a long way, so anything right goes out there. Got to be accurate, so here we go. One for Raquel, the stunt golf ball. Here's a closer view of the 14th, uh, the par 3. Uh, I think I'm on the green. I'm not, certainly not in the water. I might have gone through, can't see. And everywhere we look round, ah, gorgeous in the evening twilight. That's another wee view back down to the uh, 14th uh, and across the lake there. Back there, par 3 for me. It's the 16th at Thornock Park, it's uh, 129 yards par 3. Well, it's quite straightforward, trees around it. The 16th green, uh, there's the ball there. We'll go about a 12 foot downhiller for the bird date. Uh, it's the third shot in it the 17th, it's a uh, par 5, 509 yards. A wee bit of excitement at the 15th with the four ball. Four of them looking in the trees in the woods for the ball. Then one of them waves me through, so I hit my shot. And then uh, one of them walks across and starts walking in front of my ball when I'm about to play my second shot. Uh, then he then takes exception to me swearing at him. Uh, I told him his etiquette was uh, a bit effing out of order. But there we go, he didn't like the swearing, I didn't like him. Uh, so I tended to uh, possibly report him after the, the round's finished, just not on. When a group waves you through and then one of them decides you're not getting through. However, all good fun, uh, we crack on. Team finishing hole here at Thornock Park. 386 yards, par 4, looks a real goodie. So we can close in a wee bit. The approach shot into the 18th, you can see a rather nice clubhouse. Uh, it's down in a dip and the green goes back up. I've got Jimmy that walked in front of me, he's behind me now. Uh, it's getting a wee bit dark, he'll be a wee bit annoyed. I just finished an 18 at Thornock Park. Uh, it's a very nice course. Uh, starts off, it's quite quirky for the first few holes and then from about 8 through to 12 it's uh, flat, all flattens out. Uh, first few holes are undulating. Uh, and then it flattens out in the middle with some long straight ones uh, and then it's a really nice finish, uh, especially a par 3 over the water uh, so yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it, it was even good fun with uh, the 4 ball but as I said, the guy was completely out of order having been, having been waved through and then you go and play your second shot and he's box in front of you uh, so probably the first time I've ever going to have to write a complaint to the uh, to the club doesn't reflect well in uh, the public image for the club, behaviour like that. Uh, I do apologise for the swearing at them, but no, I don't really. I enjoyed it. But there we go, I might be out of order, so let's give a mark for the course, and it's going to be a 7.75 out of 10. So, good night.